Hey guys, now I'm going to show you how to add and subtract mixed numerals. Mixed numerals have whole numbers and fractions. Whole numbers and fractions. Let's see how we add these mixed numerals first and then we'll do some subtraction as well. Here we have one and three quarters plus two fifths. How do we do it? We add the whole numbers together and the fractions together, then we put them together right at the end. Let's get started. In this case here, we have only one as our whole number. Here, we don't have a whole number. So one plus the fractions. Now the fractions are three quarters plus two fifths. So the whole number is there, three quarters plus two fifths. Well, let's get started. We know we've got to look for common denominators. Do we have common denominators? The answer is no. We've got to make common denominators. How? We follow the process like this. We multiply the denominators together and let's write down what we're going to get. 4 times 5 is 20. Then we multiply the numerator with the denominator. 3 times 5 is 15. And then 2 times 4 is 8. Do we have common denominators? Yes, we do. Let's complete this now. 1 is the whole number. And now 15 plus 8 is 23 over 20. They are common denominators, we can add them up. Well, what can we tell? We can tell that this is an improper fraction. We've got to change it to a mixed numeral and then add the 1. 1 plus this into a mixed numeral. How many 20s go into 23? 1 whole, 3 remainder. 20 goes into 23 once, 3 remainder. 1 and 3 over 20. Can we see whole numbers? We can now add the whole numbers to get our final answer. 1 plus 1 is 2 and 3 over 20. That is our answer in full. Yes, it looks long, but it's a simple process. We split up the whole numbers and then we add the fractions and we add them up right at the end to make sure we get our final answer. Here, we have a mixed numeral and a mixed numeral. So we said we group the whole numbers together. Let's do it. 2 plus 3 plus, so that's the whole numbers. Now we group the fractions together. A quarter plus a half. Well, let's go here. 2 plus 3 is 5. Our whole numbers have been added together. Now we add the fractions. To add the fractions, we have to make sure we have common denominators. We don't have common denominators, so we make them common using the multiplication. 4 times 2 is 8. And 2 times 1 is 2. And 4 times 1 is 4. So we multiply, then we multiply 1 times 2, and then 1 times 4. Four, we get our fractions with common denominators. Now we can add them up. 5 is our whole number. 2 plus 4 is 6 over 8. So in reality it's 5 plus 6 over 8. However, 6 over 8 can simplify. Very important that you watch out for that. Divide by the highest common factor is 2. Five. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 5 and 3 quarters is our final answer for this question here, which is 2 quarters, 2 and 1 quarter, plus 3 and a half. Add it together. We group the whole numbers together, the 2 and the 3. They make 5. And then we add the fractions. We simplify the fraction and we get our final answer, 5 and 3 quarters. Now, let's do some subtraction. Now we're going to subtract mixed numerals. Subtraction, we need to be extra careful. Let's see how it's done. 
Here we have a mixed numeral 5 and 7 over 10. Take away 2 and 3 over 8. Well, how do we do it? We always group the whole numbers together and the fractions together. In this case here, the whole numbers are 5 and 2. 5 take away 2. And the fractions are 7 over 10 take away 3 over 8. 5 take away 2, the whole numbers are now completed. We're going to take away the fractions. We know addition and subtraction, we have to make common denominators. In this case, the denominators aren't common. We have to use our arrow rule. We multiply 10 and 8 to make common denominators. So here we have 10 and 8 make 80. Then 7 times 8, 56. And then 10 times 3 is 30. Now, common denominators we can take away. We come down. That's our whole number. We don't forget it. Very important not to forget it. 56 take away 30. We have 26 over 80. Can we simplify further? What can we tell? Yes, we have the highest common factor is going to be 2. 26 over 80 can be simplified. 3 is a whole number. And our fraction, 26 over 80. 26 divided by 2 is 13. And 80 divided by 2 is 40. Our answer is 3 and 13 over 40. Here we have another fraction or a mixed numeral take away another mixed numeral. But what can we tell? We can tell that a half take away three quarters, we're going to get a negative number. So we've got to watch out. Well, let's start. We follow the same scenario and see how we're going to do it. We group the whole numbers together. So 6 take away 4. That's the whole numbers. And then we have to do now the half take away the 3 quarters. 6 take away 4 is 2. That's done. Now we have to do half take away 3 quarters. Again, denominators are different. We have to multiply to get denominators, common denominators. 2 times 4 is 8. That's our common denominator. Then 1 times 4 is 4. And then 2 times 3 is 6. Common denominator, now we can take away. 2 is our whole number. 4 take away 6 is negative 2 over 8. Negative 2 over 8. Well, guess what? This is negative. So now 2 is our whole number. Take away 2 over 8. So that's the second step. This was the first step. Now we have another step because we have a negative. 2 is our whole number. Take away our negative answer in the fractions to get our full answer down the bottom. So this is what we've got to be careful of. 2 is a whole number. And we learned a whole number is over 1 minus 2 over 8. Now we follow the same process with our normal subtraction. Denominators are different. We multiply and we multiply. We multiply the denominators to get a common denominator. 8 times 2 is 16 and 1 times 2 is 2 and then 16 take away 2 is 14 over 8. This is improper. We change it to mixed. How many 8's go into 14? 1 and 6 over 8. 6 is the remainder. 8 going to 14 once, remainder 6. 6 over 8, and we know that can be simplified further. 1 whole, you divide by 2. 
and divide by 2 as the HCF. 1 whole 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. The answer is 1 and 3 quarters. So as you can see, it is long. However, if you follow the steps, they are repetitive. So we grouped the whole number, 6 take away 4 is 2. Then we took away half, take away 3 quarters. There it is. We look for common denominators. They're not there, so we make them common. 4 times 2 is 8. Then 4 times 1 is 4. And of course, 3 times 2 is 6. 4 take away 6 is negative 2 over 8. So we now realize here we have a negative. So 2 whole, which is 2 over 1, take away 2 over 8. 2 over 1, take away 2 over 8. We look for a, again, common denominator. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 1 times 2 is 2. 16 take away 2 is 14 over 8. We change that to improper, from improper to mixed numeral, and the mixed numeral can be simplified. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That's as simple as that. You have to watch out for the details. These are harder types. It's important that you know them and you master them. They don't come very often, but it's always good to make sure that you're very good at these.